Hi, I'm Sam Armani, VP Business Development at Mimic. In a previous video, I gave an overview of Mimic's technology and the concepts behind Mimic Edge Cloud. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you go and check it out. It's available on Mimic YouTube channel and the link to it is also available in the description of this video. Just as a refresher, Mimic's technology enables serverless microservice development on any computing devices including smartphones or any other client device. This means microservices can run on the devices where the front-end application is running and is still running on a central cloud which may be miles away from the application request. Any application that is using cloud today can benefit from using Mimic Edge SDK in order to offload some of the processing and decision making onto the device. This reduces application latency, improves performance, saves network bandwidth, reduces cost of cloud hosting since the application doesn't have to go to the central cloud for every single transaction and improves data privacy since not all the data needs to be sent or stored in the central cloud. I have explained this in much more detail in my overview video that I mentioned to you guys earlier. Now I'm going to show you one example use case of our technology for the automotive sector to ensure vehicle and driver safety by enabling B2B and B2X communication. The setup for this demo includes two cars, car one and car two, an iPad that emulates the car infotainment display inside car one, a smart traffic light, a bottle that emulates an obstacle on the road. Each car is equipped with a camera and LED light that turns from green to red when an obstacle is detected. And our Edge SDK is running on the car infotainment system of both cars as well as the smart traffic light. The demo is comprised of three parts that happen simultaneously in real time. Let's look at each individual part now. Car 1 is driving down the road and it detects an obstacle. The camera of the car takes a photo of the obstacle and streams it to the infotainment display. Keep an eye on the LED lights mounted on the car. It will go from green to red so that the driver can see what has been detected. Using Edge SDK, Car 1 automatically communicates with Car 2 via a V2V microservice that is hosted on the car, which then turns car 2's LED from green to red to signify that there is danger ahead. Using Edge SDK, car 1 also communicates with the traffic light so that it can begin to slow cars down. In this case, the traffic light will cycle from green to yellow to red and back to green. Now let's look at all the components running together. This process is done through two scopes of discovery and communication. For the camera and car infotainment unit, is within the scope of network since both are in the same local network. For the car to car and car to traffic light is within the scope of proximity since they are all within proximity of each other. This is how in general clusters are formed using Mimic Edge SDK. All the communication happens at a microservice level in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. Latency and network bandwidth is minimized thanks to localization and what was not feasible using central cloud is now viable using edge cloud. As for the data privacy and security, only for the short demo I showed you, 25 security tokens were exchanged in real time amongst these devices. So it is even more secure than going through the central cloud. 
Microservices in this demo have been developed in partnership with GlobeTouch. Mimic Address DK is available on GitHub. You can go make a request for access on our developer portal, developer.mimic.com, and send us any questions you may have. This wraps up the video for today. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.